Hello, what's up, what's up? Hi guys, it has been so long. I am here with one of the most requested videos and this is not even a clickbait. Uh, but a lot of you wanted me to cover all the fourth year resources that I used. Although I still have all my practical exams left, I was like, you know what, it's fine. I'm going to cover the resources because it's not like I'm changing my practical resources in the last 10 days. This video covers like everything, my books, videos that I used, resources that I used and classes and importance of postings, blah, 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 everything. Starting off with medicine. So here's the thing you need to know before. Here's the thing you need to know before I get started that I have mostly, mostly only used the standard books because they work for me. I will mention a few other books that my friends have used, but uh, at the same time, what works best for me are the standard books. And I'm sure if you are someone who enjoys reading them that way too, then you will love this video. My primary, the best book ever to exist on earth. I'm going to say this about every book because it's awesome. Um, Davidson. I love Davidson. Davidson is great, especially for all the core medicine topics like CVS, CNS, respiratory, GIT, all of those. Davidson is too good. And the table, even if you don't want to read, read Davidson, um, you know, as a resource, considering it's a huge book, you can definitely go through all the tables and diagrams in Davidson because they are the most comprehensive things I've ever seen. So this is for main medicine. For uh, psychiatry, I have mostly just used Marrow videos. I have read Davidson separately for a few topics like delirium, dementia, etc. And also for psychiatry, one thing that really worked for me was my first aid. So if you have access to first aid, then psych from first aid is pretty cool as well. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on psych, which are essentially videos of actual people with psychiatric disorders i feel like that helped me get a lot of concept on psych and i will definitely attach all the youtube links that i use for each subject so please do go through all of them now coming to dermat dermat i have used marrow videos for most part of it and i have used davidson for at least a few of the basics and most importantly, I've used Apurva Shastri actually, the microbiology book. So for most of the infective dermat, I've used Apurva Shastri to study and that worked out well for me. Now moving on to clinics, the most important thing in clinics is just please go, <laughs> attend postings. Even if you don't want to participate, attend, actively listen. If you can make notes, come back and read those notes. I think that is my primary mode of study that I would suggest every single fourth year person to do. Just pay attention in postings, just learn whatever they're teaching you. And um, the book as such does not matter as much, but I love Archit Balut. Um, this is your clinical medicine guide. And this is what most of you know my college or everywhere around India really follows in terms of uh, history and examination. It is very in detail. There are like insanely small, intricate viva topics also being covered in this. and. I really like this book. Honestly, I have also used this book for theory. Like I've read the entirety of Stroke from this as well as Davidson. A few extra books that I did use is uh, KDT, your pharma book for all the drugs. A Purva Shastri microbiome book for infective uh, diseases and infective medicine. And I have used first aid for a lot of topics to just go through them. I have only stuck to my YouTube basics, which is Dirty Medicine, Khan Academy, Medicosis Perfectionalis, Ninja Nerd. They always help for me. Other than this, there was this one really nice channel called Clinical Snippets and I have attached the link below. I watched a bunch of psych videos and I've also tried to get whatever uh, Deepak Marwa videos of Prep Ladder I have from Telegram, but uh, I don't know if I still have the link. So if you can access Deepak Marwa's videos, they're pretty nice. And obviously Rakesh Nair's videos from Maro, I liked them, but they weren't really... <laughs> In the sense, I've only liked a few topics from there, like peripheral neuropathy, myopathies, all of those I like from Rakesh Nair, but he's a good teacher, so you can watch it if, it, if he works for you. Oh. oh, I see my friend downstairs. Anyways, now, surgery ke liye. Surgery, dekho, it is a difficult subject. I still, I mean, I feel like Miku, if there is one thing that can scare me on earth, it's tsunamis and then uh, surgery. I know, tsunamis still take the first place. Anyways, uh, surgery. <laughs> surgery is a little um, crazy subject, but I have found a way to really, really like this crazy subject. And uh, I love to call that way as uh, Bailey and Love. I know 
a lot of you will disagree. I feel like Bailey is the best thing that has happened to me. And hands down, for four years of medicine, Bailey and Love is the best book that I've ever read. It can make a subject like surgery, which was so boring to me as a person. Like, you know, I'm a medicine gal. Yeah, of course. But um, for liking surgery and considering how strict the department is and everything, all these factors playing in, I had this whole resentment towards surgery until I properly started reading Bailey and Love. I started reading this in third year. I just read Breast from Bailey and Love and then uh, fourth year, I properly started reading it. I feel like it gives you so much concept. I do not think there's any other book that can give you so much concept about surgery, about medicine topics in itself. Like, Bailey is awesome. The only difficulty is that you will have to make answers. I have sat down and literally made points on every single paragraph in Bailey and Love because you cannot get through this book and write answers at the same time if you don't put an active effort to make answers from this book. Uh, understanding is obviously perfect with this so if you have the time try to make notes I have made notes these are actually all of my surgery notes that I have made um, I'm not very sure if y'all will understand it but uh, if at some point I feel like I can fair them out and post them for you I definitely will so yeah if you are someone who is into big books if you're someone who wants to understand the subject really well definitely read Bailey and Love I have had um, people read MMS which is Manipal Manual of Surgery but I personally do not have a lot of understanding from it and a lot of people also read SRP but again similar problem I had trouble understanding the subject with those books but you can definitely refer to them if you want a book that's gonna ease out your answer writing process coming to ortho ortho I have used this amazing book by one of our professors itself it's called Manipal Manual of Orthopedics it is so comprehensive there is not a single point he misses and it's so easy to read like each topic is barely four or five pages and uh, it covers everything and it's the best part is it's so short but at the same time it makes you so conceptually aware of orthopedics also so i feel like the books in surgery and ortho are what make me really like the subject so it's called uh manipal manual of orthopedics it's by vivek pandey sir and it's great i would definitely suggest you to buy this i full-on full-on back up this book and the best part about bailey is that i could really really supplement it with marrow uh, because uh, Rohan Khandelwal sir, he teaches directly from Bailey, right? So all I had to do was follow along Maro videos with Bailey, underline on Bailey and then read Bailey. So that really worked out for me and uh, Maro is pretty nice for surgery. You can definitely go through with it. Especially the modules after each topic, just doing the Maro modules and seeing where you're going wrong, correcting your mistakes. That's, that's mostly how you can learn the nitty gritty details of the subject. Coming to clinics, I mostly just again listened to clinics, made notes, came back, studied them. I obviously Estas is a classic. You need to read it. It is. Um, it has everything you need in terms of examination and also I really appreciate all the differential diagnoses they give at the end of the chapter. I feel like people really tend to uh, skip through them but i love them along with asdas i did follow a bunch of youtube videos of i think dr ghansham Vaidya. he posted a bunch of uh, clinical vignettes with uh, asdas so i watched those and other youtube channels i've definitely linked down about surgery there was this really nice one i watched for pediatric surgery and there was this amazing person i watch for ortho who really explained ctv to me like no one else did so yeah all the videos are right there um there is this other book for surgery clinics called bedside clinics of surgery by makhanlal saha this is very nice for viva was like question answer type question uh vivek pandey sir also has a clinical book for ortho if you want to refer to it it is also great coming to obg okay obg is uh, a good subject it's a pretty chill subject. I feel like this is one of those subjects that if you just listen to class, if you just attend clinics, you're going to be good at it. So um, please do that. And other than that, I have used uh, Holland and Brew for, uh, sorry, Holland and Brew for OBS. And I've read this through and through. It's a great book. It is slightly outdated with a few of its facts. And um, I would urge you to fact check a bunch of the managements and everything along with marrow here and there 
but when it comes to developing your concept about the disease about the causes and everything holland brew is great and at the same time somehow it seems like a big overwhelming book but it's very easy to read gyne book shaws i use shaws but i feel like it's a little bit little bit a tiny bit confusing um i think for gyne i did use shaws but i was also equally dependent on maro uh because maro lady is amazing for gyne i mean yes there are one or two factual inaccuracies that i did see jo class mein teachers bolte hai ki tum log maro se padhte ho oh ye wo ye wo so other than that i feel like no she's good i um fully approve of using maro for revision and gynecology and uh, obstetrics to a good extent as well there are a few people who used uh, datta and there i've heard and there this really nice book from manipal itself called mb pi it's a very small short book so you guys can use that also if you feel like these books are a little overwhelming honestly i did not use anything for uh, obg clinics as i told you just listen to clinics and make notes i <laughs> watch some youtube videos i have already linked all the youtube videos again for obg as well please go to the description finally peds peds is a lowly subject i love peds so much but i really do like all the fine year subjects actually oh, what a year it uh, really messes with you in exam time but it's a great year i would love to keep studying these in internship OP guy OP in the chat please because this book is like baby davidson it's like baby bailey baby everything it is very nice i have done a bunch of surgery topics also from OP guy because they were not that well written in bailey it's good book go through it it might at least if you can't do all the systemic things at least do the first five topics from OP guy that is growth development nutrition immunization all of those because um, it's standard it's well written and very scoring if you do the first few topics from this book i also use this really cute notes thing called nandan notes i don't know it's been circulating on our batch and it's pretty cute i if i if i can find a link to it i will definitely attach it but i do not have a link to it for clinics uh, for a brief period of time i did refer to aruchami but again for um, pediatrics mostly i just listen to clinics and made notes because it's very similar to theory and the first few topics Yeah, for pediatrics actually, Maro is a good summary. So if you are studying for your final exams and then you just want to go through everything in OPGAI very quickly, you can sit and do Maro for two hours, and that will fully cover everything in OPGAI. So yes, Maro is great. Oh, will I say Maro is essential? No, it's not essential, but it definitely helped me a lot, a lot more to ease out um, studying things, a lot more to reduce the amount of time I spent on uh, understanding things or summarizing things. So yeah, I would um, definitely suggest going ahead with it if you are contemplating on it. But if you don't want to, then you're perfectly fine. YouTube has everything that you need. I have personally been a big time YouTube connoisseur all my life. So go through those videos. Uh, I have written down a bunch of additional books that really helped me throughout final year. One is Neurosurgery of Clinical Anatomy Vishram Singh Neurosurgery. I had used that for stroke. Um KDT and Apurva Shastri for pharmac and microbio topics of final year. Um Community Medicine for Infectious Diseases and a few of these uh, Suraksha Yojanas and all of those that keep coming in OBG and um pediatrics. I used forensic for reading toxicology in medicine and I used anatomy books for learning the surgical anatomy and even for obstetrics mullerian abnormalities etc and I've definitely made a lot of use of first aid and new world my USMLE resources because um yeah I've read them for so long I just find it easier to read books that I've already read that's it as simple as that I I've written down something really Uh, lame, but also really cool. It's called my hierarchy of study. Ideally, the thing I would want you to focus on the most, which I feel is the most rewarding, and also you get to learn the most, is <clears throat> so. Here goes the hierarchy. Number one, participating in postings, taking cases, presenting cases, examining patients, uh, like actively being in the surgical field, trying to scrub in all of those, participating in postings, topmost. top tier hey second is attending posting itself 
do not do not take leaves attend postings please do you will assimilate some kind of knowledge kaise bhi after attending posting you have attending class because i am telling you that 50% of whatever i learn of each topic is because i have attended class for it um this is little sad that i'm saying this because i was a little lazy gal and i used to miss atm class quite quite a few times in life um i'm just sleepy man i can't really do anything about it but please try attending as much as you can then after the attending class you have reading posting stuff making class notes studying class stuff from books then comes active maro reading active maro reading is when you're watching a maro video and you're actively noting down or making notes and finally is passive maro or video watching that is probably the least effective way of studying just don't watch the videos please do it actively actively recall make notes underline it in books one of my most effective ways has always been doing mcqs getting them wrong and seeing what i got wrong and reading them always sticks in my head वैसे यही था कल मेरा मेडिसिन का आई हैव माय फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल काइंड एक्साइटेड आई जस्ट फिनिश्ड सीवियर्स रेस्पिरेटरी एंड जनरल एग्जामिनेशन येस्टरडे टुडे आफ्टर डू सीएनएस एंड जीआईटी एंड अ बंच ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स वाइवर्स एंड स्टफ 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 सो या ये आई विल पोस्ट दिस वीडियो टुमारो I usually don't take too much time editing that's because I'm a little lazy about uh, my editing stuff. That's it. These are the resources I've used and I will definitely make in detail videos of how to approach each subject medicine surgery, peds, obg, all of them once my exams and once my results are out because I want to have some kind of backing for making those videos that is me doing decent in these exams. So yes. Thank you so much for watching. I really really hope this helps and bye bye. I'll see you.